Man, that intro is so good. Comrocho. No better place for a night out. A neon city. But the brighter the lights, the darker the shadows. The whole town's run by the toughest Yakuza family out there, the Tojo clan. And the deeper you dig, the more interesting things get. More dangerous, too. Take this burglary ring. Just a bunch of kids looking for kicks. Word is, they met on some sketchy website. Never even seen each other's faces. As for the cops, they can't catch a single one. The only thing anyone really cares about in Kamurocho these days, though, is the murders. Over three months, three Kansai Yakuza have turned up dead. Most think it's the Tojo clan making some kind of power move in the ongoing turf war. <clears throat> this one's missing its eyes, too. <clears throat> That's not the only thing, though. All three of them were missing their eyes. We got a serial killer. It's in one little corner of this city that I run a detective agency. I work alongside my partner, Kaito-san. Funny enough, he's ex-Tojo. And me? I'm Takayuki Yagami. Used to be a lawyer, but I put that life behind me three years ago. As for my badge, it's barely even a decoration at this point. Look at that Sega sign. Gotta have it in there, man. Here we go, chapter one, three blind mice. Let's do this. Hey, look at that trophy. Here, I'll scrounge up the rest for you later. What about your cut? I'll get it eventually. All of this goes to the client. Gotcha. Anyway. I'm gonna swing by Genda Sensei's place. See if he's got any work. Don't hold your breath. For a lawyer's office, things are slow as shit over there. Uh, you're aware they're one of our best clients, right? Yeah, yeah, I know you used to work there and all. But don't show up empty handed. Here, buy him some sweets or something. At least go through the motions. So generous. My boy's all grown up. <laughs> don't mention it, Dad. Now get going. <laughs> I hear they've got some extra fancy dorayaki at the Popo over on Tenkaichi Street. Even come in a box. Huh? huh? Well, Genda Sensei's got a pretty big sweet tooth. If you get me. Right. I'll go pick some up. Let's go buy some stuff then. Popo, right? I really like how the series, um, you know, it's from the same studio, so a lot of the interactions and uh, uh, convenience stores, you know, little things that are in the game. All right, let's find that store. Oh, Papo's over here. Okay, cool. All right. Mm. Just gonna go through the motion. 
Like we are so familiar with Popos, you know? From uh, other Yakuza games. Hold on there, pal. You just bought some of them Doriaki, yeah? Sorry, but they're mine now. <laughs> uh, are they? Look, I've been after one of those things for days now. You just bought the last fucking box. Can't stand for that, right, boys? Wow. Can't argue with that logic. What was that, smartass? Let's go. Stance. Where is the uh how do I change stance? Fighting stance. Shit without a real good reason. And that means it was you. You dumbasses jumped the wrong guy. Uh, no. Uh, you know this guy's like a son to the Matsugani patriarch, right? Uh, know what I'm trying to say? Asshole. Hey, come on, Cap. Can't we just let it be? No can do. This right here just became a matter of Matsugane family honor. I'm sorry. <laughs> hmm. Kengo, you haven't met our buddy Tak here, have you? He's a guy you want to know. Hot shot detective type. Right. It's good to meet you. The boss paid his way through law school back in the day. Made him into a damn good attorney. Guy even managed to get a bona fide serial killer off the hook. Seriously? Wow, that's incredible. <laughs> right? Damn shame seeing talent like that go to waste. Huh, totally! <laughs> get this, though. The first thing that killer did when he got loose? Stabbed his girlfriend to death. Can you believe that? <laughs> oh, uh, damn. <laughs> yep. Guy got the death penalty and everything. They get around to hanging his ass, talk. Not yet, no. Oh, what the hell's taking him so long? Here. This is the money from that detective. The rest is yours. I already took my cut. Good. You're finally getting the hang of this whole debt collecting thing. Yeah, thanks to you. Hmm. Anyway, how's Kaito? Fine. You mind asking him something? How long is he gonna stick around? Not wise to stay in town after you get kicked out of the family. But, uh... I can look the other way since the boss likes you so much. Speaking of, how's Matsugane-san doing? None of your damn business, I'd say. 
Come on, let's go. Hmm. I kind of like this. I kind of like the uh, the angle they're going with with Yagami here. Okay, very similar to like a dragon. Um, you can save any time instead of going to the uh, phone booth. Hey there, sorry son. Look, Doriaki. Extra fancy. Genda Law Office, where I used to work. Things haven't changed much these past three years. Hello, Yagami-san. Oh, hey, I didn't see you there. You, uh, getting situated? Yes. Everyone here is just great. So I hear you're good. Passed the bar with top marks and everything. <laughs> How'd you end up in this dump and not in a bigger office, huh? Huh? Well, you see, that's... Uh... I hear you over there, uh, Yagami. Evening, Genda sensei <laughs> Other than my real dad, there's two people I look up to like a father. Genda sensei is one of those people. He gave me a job here, before I'd even gotten out of law school. Shintani sensei out for the night? Uh, I can't keep track of that boy. I'm sure you're happy though. You don't have to deal with him. Huh? You two can't stand each other. You hate each other's guts. Be honest with me here. Uh, hold on now. Shintani's like a mentor to me. So, about that job you have. If you really want that job, you're gonna have to get along. So show your senpai a little more respect. Oh, Genda sensei. I got you some Doriaki. Just sit right there. I'll grab you one. Huh? <laughs> <clears throat> Sorry? Did you eat them all? <laughs> all but half. Hope you don't mind. Hey, sorry, son. Got any work lined up for me? Nope. Okay, that's, uh... What about the kid? I know you're looking for work, Yagami-san, but asking you for favors feels strange. Uh... So... What are the chances you've got some work for me, Genda Sensei? Work, huh? How long are you gonna keep doing this to yourself, Yagami? You know how dangerous this city is. Wouldn't be many cases for me if Kamurocho was a safe place. Uh-huh. Cases like collecting debt for the Yakuza? Hey, better that than no work at all, am I right? You call that detective work? You're practically a mercenary. Fine by me. I was never too hung up on being a detective anyway. Listen, Yagami. Yeah? You ever thought about becoming a lawyer again? I haven't. And why is that? Take a good look at me, Genda Sensei. Hmm? These eyes aren't exactly the best judge of character. I think I made that clear three years ago. What use am I as a lawyer if I can't tell good from bad? Knock it off, Yagami. Stop beating yourself up. What happened to Emmy was tragic, yes, but it wasn't your fault. It doesn't matter whose fault it is. I never want to deal with something like that again. So, have any work for me? A guy's got to stay busy, you know? Keeps me distracted from Emmy Chan and all that. It doesn't matter what you've got, just. Give me something. Uh, how about a divorce case? 
I have some evidence that needs collecting. It'll be the usual deal. Stake out a love hotel, snap some photos, tail the guy, dig through some trash. You in? I'm in. A job's a job. Oh, I give up. I'll send you the details later. And next time, don't bring a gift, you hear? Doesn't feel right taking them from guys too broke to pay for them. <laughs> Anything you say. Huh. Kinda dig the humor. Gendala office. Yes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yagami-san. That was Shintani Sensei. Hmm? Apparently, he wants your help gathering evidence for a murder. Huh? Since when are we working a murder case? This is the first I've heard of it, too. Go give Shintani a hand, Yagami. This blows that divorce I was gonna send you on out of the water. Been years since we had a murder case. Shintani Sensei says he's waiting for you at Tender, that bar on Taihei Boulevard. Tender? I'm there all the time. Just making sure. Let's uh, head out then. Where's the exit though? You know, I want to stock up just like other uh, other games. I want to be able to stock up on. Uh, on food and um, like health, you know. HP. What should I stack up? Health, yeah, this one. Oh, okay. Cool. Oh, I don't have enough money. It's called Tender. Got my first job here 20 years back. Masuda-san never changes. Running a bar must keep you young. Hey, Tuck. Shintani Sensei is in the back. Great. We've got some business to talk. <laughs> surprised to see me? I'd be more surprised if I didn't. Who's that, Tuck? A detective, buddy? Not exactly, Mari. This one's a client. Won't be your client for long if you don't show up on time. You're late. Come on. You called me here totally out of the blue. Chill out, maybe. <laughs> oh, and I'm getting a drink. And I'm paying? Of Let's course. call it a business expense. Here's a familiar face. Kyohei Hamura, from the Matsugane family. I ran into him earlier, actually. Ticket he's your client? 
Yep. Got hauled in earlier. They're charging him with murder. Seriously? Seriously. So, the Matsugani Patriarch came to us for his defense. Genda Sensei is the go-to guy for all his legal problems, you know? How'd you end up in the driver's seat then? Genda Sensei gave him my card. Gotta say, not looking forward to defending a Yakuza. Tough luck, I guess. Anyway, you're coming with me to the station. Need to have a word with Hamura. You got way more Yakuza experience than me, after all. Yeah, I suppose I do. Let me give you a rundown of the case first. The victim was a Yakuza. A Kansai guy. Part of the Kyori clan. They found his body tossed in a dumpster just about a week ago. Hold on. This is... The guy who got his eyes gouged out? Yep. Cops think Hamura is the one who did it. Hell of a case, man. This is the third Yakuza they've found like this. Fortunately, we're not dealing with a triple homicide here, so the media isn't swarming. Hmm? Hammer's got an alibi for the first two incidents. His third murder is the only one they're pinning on him. So they won't admit the cases are connected? No. Makes sense. Three bodies and not a single suspect isn't exactly given the cops credibility. Guess they just want to get this case closed and move on, even if they have to force it through. And hey, the victim was Yakuza. Nobody really cares who hangs for it. Hmm. Clever thinking is rewarding as the comes to crash. Okay, doing critical thought, uh, you're getting a speed bonus if you consecutively select the best choices to get information quickly and effectively. If you choose unwise, you choose lose chance to gain XSP. Okay. Uh... Has Hamura said anything to you? Yeah. He told me he didn't do it. Claimed the cops were falsely accusing him. So he insists he's innocent, huh? Uh -uh. Why'd they come after Hamura, of all people? Two reasons. First... The victim was a Kansai Yakuza from a group that's been making inroads in Kamurocho and picking fights with the Tojo clan along the way. Odds are this was a Tojo guy wanting to send a message. And as you know, Hamura fits the bill. And the other reason? Hamura and the victim were seen having a fight on the day of the crime. I'm guessing there's security camera footage then. Hmm. Uh... I think I know enough. We should get to the station. You go on ahead. We got some calls to make first. Just take a cab there. Will do. All right, let's head to that Camarocho PD station. Leaving already, talk. Oh. And only one drink in. What can I say? I'm a busy man. Funny you should say that. Another customer of mine has a job for you. Ooh. I'll tell you about it when you're not so swamped, okay? <laughs> hey, I'm not about to pass up a paying gig. Then come back when you and Shintani Sensei are done. Can I? Can I just grab Another the? Another customer of mine. Ah. It'd be nice if I could just grab it right now, you know? <laughs> Head to Kamurocho PD. Let's do this. We just keep running into each other tonight, eh, hey, Tak? Why the long face? Hamura-san. Uh, I'm Shintani from the Genda Law Office. The Matsugane family asked us to represent you. 
Then I'm glad you said yes, Shintani-sensei. We're gonna get along real good. Just like my boss and Genda-sensei. Uh, right. Well, let's get started. I'll be taking point, while Yagami here will be doing the legwork to try and back up your claims. No better guy to do it. I'll do what I can. So, they brought you in under suspicion of murder. Can you tell me more about that? Huh? What do you want to know? Whether or not you killed the guy. Does it really matter? Your job's getting me out of this mess, regardless of the truth. No. Because if I find out you actually did it... You'll drop me? Better. I'll make sure the prosecution puts you away for life. This is bullshit! Just like you did that serial killer, huh? Uh, Yagami? All the evidence at the time pointed to Shinpei Okubo being innocent. That's why I chose to trust him. Mm. But then, that Okubo guy... Well, he proved us all wrong. Murdered his girlfriend in cold blood. Come on, Tark. Let's be honest about what you were really focused on at the time. You wanted that precious acquittal so bad, you didn't even stop to think you were setting a murderer loose. Right? What happened to innocent until proven guilty? Try saying that to Emi Terasawa's parents. That's why you quit, right? You couldn't face him. <clears throat> you think, um, we could maybe get back to the case? Sure. Why not? You good to go? Yeah? I'm fine. Keep going. My apologies. Now, <clears throat> let's start with the victim. Toshiro Kume, 34 at his time of death. A member of the Kansai-based Kyori clan. Around 6 a.m. on the 4th of December, the police got a 110 call from someone who found his corpse in a pile of garbage. I hear you and this Kume had some kind of argument before he died. Yep. Did the police say what evidence points to you being the killer? Do they have anything substantial? Nope. Bastards are keeping their lips sealed. Ain't that right, Shintani-sensei? Yes. At this point in the investigation, the cops won't tell me what they've got against you. Your words are the only thing we'll have till the trial. <laughs> is what it is. Anything else you want to ask, Yagami? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, let's go with this one. Arguing with uh, Kume. Where did you and Kume have your fight? Out in front of a club, Amor, over on Supon Street. Me and a few Matsugani boys had a little run-in with a Kyori guy. Turns out that was your boy, Kume. And who started the fight? What do you think? I'm not gonna let some Kansai punk strut around like he owns the place. I'd already thrown a few drinks back at that point, too. What time did this all go down? Just past nine. So what happened after you and Kume had your standoff? Went your separate ways? Nah, he tried to split, but I had my boys grab him. Dragged him into a moor. What? I... I thought it was just a little scuffle, though. You're saying you abducted Kume on a crowded public street? Yep, Amor's one of the family businesses. So I went in, kicked the customers out, and kicked the crap out of Kume. But I'm telling you, I didn't kill the guy. Just tossed him out the back door when I was done with him. Huh. I left right after, too. Mm, a few minutes before midnight. Uh-huh. So you were seen dragging Kume into the club, and he was found in the morning with his eyes gouged out. <laughs> I'd arrest you too if I was a cop. Well, at least he's being honest, right? <laughs> um, uh, 
Let's go with this one. What do we have on the victim? Toshiro Kume, 34. Run of the mill Kyori grunt. Was Kume alone when you ran into him? Hard to believe he'd take that kind of risk in hostile territory. It was him and one more. Probably another Kyori asshole. Don't know his name, though. So there were two of them, and how many of you? I'd say there was probably five, including me. Why didn't you guys take Kume's friend in, too? <laughs> we tried. Bastard ran like the goddamn wind, though. Um... Yeah... The, the only other assumption is this one. It makes more sense to ask about the alibi. Um... There's no reason to go for the uh, police respond. I mean, that's just... Dumb. You have an alibi? What time did they think Kume died? Apparently between 2 and 3 in the morning. The cops were drilling me real hard about where I was around then. And? Where were you? At a sauna. A spot called Sauna Goten. Spent the night getting a steam. But there's no proof you were actually there, huh? Well, otherwise you wouldn't be in here. Pretty much. Someone should have seen something, though. Okay, that's all I wanted to ask. I think I've heard enough for now. We'll get going, then. Alright, I've decided to go ahead and purchase Silent Destroyer, Target Locked, and Invisible Man. I think these will help me out in terms of investigating. I think that's going to be taking a lot more time in the fighting stuff. And so I just wanted that to uh, run as smooth as possible and maybe even key to success or something. But uh, I, I can get Detective Tunch. Yeah, I'm going to grab this one as well. Just things that make makes, uh, my life a little bit easier. I'm going to go ahead and save it as well. Oh, this guy here. Excuse me, you work here? Yeah, come on in, friend. Actually, I'm not a customer. Mind if I ask you a few questions? Sure, what do you need? I'm here about a murder. The Yakuza who had his eyes gouged out. Oh, a detective came by for the same thing. Wanted to know if their suspect was with us the night of the incident. And you are... a reporter? Something like that, yeah. And this is Hamura, captain of the Matsugane family. Did he come in on the night of the crime? I'll tell you the same thing I told the cops. I make it a point not to remember anyone specific, you know? Hmm. If this old man had remember, we would have had an alibi. You get a lot of customers in and out, huh? Up to the last train, at least. From there, it's only in till morning. You know how it is. People drop in, wait for the trains to start up again. Same as any other night. Interesting. So everyone who comes in stays till morning, huh? And as long as I can prove Hummer was here, we'll have our alibi. Oh yeah, the cops mentioned something kind of similar. Hmm. If I can prove that uh, hit crime, then we'll solve everything. Uh, what's going on the buy? You guys don't have a security camera? Something we could check, see who was here? We do, but it deletes all its footage every three days. Privacy and all. It was already long gone by the time the cops came around. Got it. Thanks. Sorry to bother you. Hmm. All right, let's uh, see if I can ask other people, I guess. Let me see here. Oh. Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sonic Go 10 on the night of December 3rd. Nobody pays attention to me, so I'm not going to pay attention to them.
I feel like the field of view is kind of close. I wonder if there's a way to extend that a little bit more. What that guy over there? Excuse me. I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who stopped by Sana Goten on the night of December 3rd. Did you see anything? This is the guy. Name's Hamura. I can't say I know him. There's tons of Yakuza around here. Though, now that you mention it, I remember something about a host getting smacked in the face that night. By a Yakuza? Yep. Don't think he got hurt too bad, though. Pretty sure it happened right around midnight. All this on the night of the incident. But when I went to check things out, the Yakuza was long gone. The host was just standing there shouting. That help at all? Hmm. Hmm. Uh, any idea who the host was? Nah. I mean, they all kind of have that pretty boy look. Doubt I'd be able to recognize him if he was standing right in front of me. Does anyone else know about this? I don't know. Okay. Thanks for your help. Thanks. Thanks for your help. Thanks for your help. <laughs> Trying to make me Hey, you're out here pretty often, right? Did you see a Yakuza head into Sana Goten the night of December 3rd? Um, why would I know that? You're crazy, mister. Hmm. <laughs> hmm. Hey, you have a sec? I'm looking for info on a Yakuza who went to Sana Goten on the night of December 3rd. <sighs> you seriously expect me to remember something from that long ago? I'm trying to work here. Get lost! Hmm. Alright. Oh, that's it? Okay, not a whole lot to go on from, but okay. Rest up? Okay. this someone sent me something okay N newbie detective pack okay oh whoa what what's with all that pack what are those packs okay yo you're still here? I thought you'd have left hours ago. I was gonna, but I realized all I do at home is pass out. Did go for a drink, though. Oh, now you're having another. You know that bottle's mine. <laughs> well, Genda Sensei give you any work? Yep, probably thanks to the Doriaki. He wants me to scrounge up some evidence for a murder trial. You got this from Genda? I thought it was all about civil suits now. Criminals don't pay the bills, right? Well, this one comes straight from Matsugane-san. Turns out, Hamura went and got himself arrested. What the hell? For one of those Kyore clan murders. You mean that eye-gouging shit? Mm-hmm. I just dropped by the jail to see him. He claims he's innocent, though. Huh. Crazy. Not interested? I can't say I blame you after what Hamra did. Booting you from the family was a low blow. If you want, I'll handle it solo. Look, don't worry about it. I'm the one who fucked up, not him. Either way, we've got the case. Count me in. <laughs> Good. Mm. Okay, let's rest. Shouldn't be that bad, right? Rest up? Yeah. 